Hey, what's up, guys? For the Black Phantom HD. Now, when I was like in somewhere else today, I was, you know, doing my own thing, searching up on eBay like I always do, and I came across this post. Um, I don't know if you guys seen it by now, but this dude, he was selling five copies of New Mutants 98. Um, for only $40 each. Well, plus 20 shipping, because he was in China. And I kind of find that funny, because he doesn't have any feedback at all. I guess he was a new, a new guy. So, I have no idea if that was legit or not. But I know as soon as I saw that thing list, 15 minutes later, two people bought him just like that. And about five minutes later after that... I refreshed the page, refreshed the page, and the post was gone, completely gone. So, I don't know if that was real or not, but all I know is I I, I was kind of mad and sad inside because I've been trying to look for a good deal in New Mutants 98 forever. But anyway, here's a comic book haul number 7 or 8, 7 or 8. And I have a lot of books, and I only have eight minutes left. So here we go. Harley Quinn number 20. Um, it was a variant cover, so I just picked it up. It was nothing too special, really. Oops. And these comics are really out of order. They don't have a back and board, but Danger Girl number 6 variant. I just don't want them to fall. Danger Girl, um, Kamazi? Uh, Kamahi. I mean, you know, I'm not good with pronouncing another language, but that's issue two of that two-part series. I mean, issue one of it, this is issue two. Danger Girl special number three. Signed. At least I think that's signed. Then your girl body shots number one signed as well. Another danger girl number six variant. I basically got the full run. Danger girl preview signed by Scott Campbell. I wish I had the variant cover, but. Signed by Scott Scam Scott Campbell, so it's good enough. Danger Girl number one. Danger Girl number two. Danger Girl number three. And yeah, um, Batman v Superman is only four days away this Friday, and I'm really excited for that movie. I'm pretty sure everybody is. I'm pretty sure the theaters are going to be packed as soon as we get there. But yeah, I'm going to go see it. Hopefully it's a good movie. Hopefully um, Zack Snyder doesn't mess it up and mess up all the hype that the DC Universe, Cinematic Universe, has been getting lately. Then again, he kind of slowed down the hype after they released the Doomsday footage, but still, don't want to hype it down even less. Give people even more of a reason to like Marvel over DC. Um, anyway, Danger Girl number 5. And what would you do if you saw a New Mutants 98 for only $40 on eBay, and the dude didn't have any... Um, didn't have any feedback whatsoever. He was a new seller, and it was from China. I mean, what would you guys do? Um, I was like, I was like literally crying inside, inside my body. Not outside, but just inside. Uh, just watching it go away, as easy as that. But then again, he could have been a scammer. But anyway, in your grill number five.
Then you're going number six, another variant. And lastly, for the danger girl that is, danger girl number seven. And I'm trying to collect all of the Jim Lee X-Men series. Oh God, all of the Jim Lee X-Men series. And because I actually read the first issue of this comic and issue four, and I, oh, sorry about that, but I actually think the Jim Lee, Chris, and Chris, Jim and Chris series is better than the original X-Men series. I, I think it's just me and my love for 90s comics, because I like the 90s, even though I know most people don't, but I just love the, this X-Men series better it showcases I mean, Jim Lee did an amazing job with the art in this. I mean, I'm pretty sure all of you know that Jim Lee is an amazing artist, probably in my top three artists, um, only to be under Neil Adams and um, Steve Ditko. I mean, not Steve Ditko, but Jack Kirby. But, yeah, X-Men number one. Like I said, I do plan on collecting all of the Jim Lee series, Chris, Jim and Chris series, um, Wolverine number eight, classic cover, I really like this cover, and I just saw it, and I just had to pick it up, you know, I haven't seen Greyhawk a lot in these days, but anyway, I picked up my first CGC book, well, not CGC, but my first graded book recently. And can you guess what it is? Well, pretty much by the thumbnail, you could probably guess what it is. But I never had a graded book ever. So I was like, why don't I just get this? Because, you know, it's like never having a graded book. I'm not in the graded book club. But anyway, I just noticed that. These 80s ads. You never know. But anyway, um, not only I got this at a good deal, and plus I needed the book anyway. And since it was graded, I was like, I might as well get it. But anyway, X Factor number six, graded at 8.0 by CBCS. First appearance of Apocalypse. First full appearance of Apocalypse, I should say. But then again, Apocalypse never shown his face in X Factor 5. So I guess you would say it was a sort of a cameo. I don't know. But I don't know how you would call that. But anyway, this is really neat to have my first graded comic. But anyway, that's been the comic book haul, guys. Um, make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Um, I probably won't be doing a comic book haul soon, because after going for a month to my first comic book convention, which is a month from now, and I'm really excited about that. I don't know what to expect from that, but I hope to have a lot of fun and find a lot of cool books. But anyway, this has been your boy, The Black Phantom. Peace.